Welcome to my channel. New information has come out proving that a special agent of the Capitol Police Force lied under oath in the Oath Keepers trials and those people have been sent to prison. I'm going to talk about that but first I have to thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos, for liking them, for commenting on them, for sharing them with other people. And thank you especially for subscribing to my channel. I continue to be amazed by the amount of traffic that I get. I thank you very much. A tweet came out from, from uh, <clears throat> Steve Baker, who is an investigator who's been working on the January 6th information from the videos for quite some time now and now the FBI is threatening to arrest him. Why? Because he's telling the truth. He says, we now have permission to publish the video on Capitol Police Special Agent Lazarus. It will drop on Monday. That was this past Monday, yesterday. We'll see if Chief, Chief Manger will then publicly announce why there's no investigation. Or maybe he'll just wait until after we tell the world about Lazarus' previous suppressed disciplinary action. What, who, and why? Hmm? What say you, Chief? This tweet got a response from a Tariq Johnson. Tariq Johnson is a former lieutenant in the U.S. Capitol Police. She says, breaking news. I was just informed by a source that I deem very credible that USCP Chief J. Thomas Manger has decided not to investigate the allegation that USCP Special Agent David Lazarus gave false testimony in the Oath Keepers trial. If you are not aware of this story, Blaze reporter Steve Baker presented video evidence that Agent Lazarus was not present during an in interaction between the Oath Keepers and Henry Dunn, but gave testimony that he was, and the interaction was highly contentious. Combined, the Oath Keepers were sentenced to decades of years in prison. To not even investigate an allegation of this level, with the evidence presented by <clears throat> excuse me by un by, by let's see let me read that again to e not even investigate an allegation to this level with the evidence presented is unconscionable i believe the benefit of this the doubt should be given to chief manger to confirm if the department's position is to not investigate and i pray the information given to me is incorrect I understand that the department is not held to the Freedom of Information Act, but in this case, for the sake of public trust, full transparency is needed. As a country, we need to know if an investigation is being conducted and if not, why. Obviously, Tariq Johnson is an ethical police officer. Apparently, the manager or the, the police chief of the U.S. Capitol Police is not. It remains to be seen if he will do the right thing, and he may collapse under pressure and end up doing it anyway. But this is just another example of how corrupt Washington is and how difficult it's going to be to clean that mess out. It's looking more and more like January 6th was not an insurrection, but a instigation by the FBI and by the Department of Justice and an undercover operation that was designed to entrap Trump followers. And it's worked so far. They've thrown a lot of people in prison. And now we know they've thrown them in with perjured testimony and with withheld exculpatory evidence. Every single person that's been thrown in jail for January 6th should have their sentences looked at, should have them thrown out, and should have their sentences removed from their records if this information is true. 
We cannot allow people to go to jail for things that they did not do when the prosecution withholds evidence and suborns perjury under oath by sworn officers of the law. If we allow that, the country's over. Justice no longer exists. I'll put these links in the description so that you can read them for yourself. But the more that we learn about January 6th, the more troubling it becomes. The more disturbing it is to find out that people are in prison based on perjured testimony, based on the prosecution, the Department of Justice, withholding exculpatory video. It's just beyond the pale. We need to elect a president who will clean out Washington, and that's going to be a tough job. I don't know if there's anybody that can do that, but we need someone who's going to at least try. I was kind of interested in Vivek Ramaswamy. I thought he might do a good job, but he's dropped out of the race. So it looks like now it's down to Trump and uh, Ron DeSantis and uh, Haley. And to me, none of those are good choices. And it really looks like Trump's going to be the one who's nominated. But boy, have we got a mess in this country. And boy, does it need to be cleaned up. We need God to intervene. That's the only way this is going to work. God's going to have to do something miraculous. Well, I hate to keep being the bearer of bad news, but that's probably about all there is today. All there is in this age is bad news about how bad things are and how rotten Washington is and how much we need to clean it out. But for you, my users, I pray that regardless of what goes on in the country and regardless of how bad things get, that you will have an abundant life and that you will live a long life and be healthy and that God will keep you safe from harm. And I pray that he does the same for every person that you love. And I also pray that you will be anxious for nothing, but through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, you'll make your request known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam era vet out.